this is James and welcome to our setup tutorial. As you see, you'll have a setup progress indicator here. You can click that and see the, the overall or the high level steps of implementing Fat Finger. If we dive into just the welcome tab, you'll see this video that you're on. Uh, what is Fat Finger? Just a general overview, a very quick demo of the different modules inside of Fat Finger. And then you'll see here uh, really the best practices that we have seen thousands of different companies uh, use on uh, getting started successfully with, with Fat Finger. For example, a, a common one is operational excellence training. We just share a few tips. It's a um, probably just a few minute video on why operational excellence is important and maybe some value drivers on some concepts on how to identify different use cases that will add the most valuable value to your project and the apps that you build to streamline your operations. Followed by what are the project roles that make, you know, who are the executive sponsors, who is the business lead, maybe who is the tool owner uh, on site. So if you have any questions or feedback about the tool, who is that person? Um, just some very basic um, best practices that we have shared with you that we've seen our clients use over the years. Um, if you want to customize any of these steps, these are just the ones that we recommend, uh, but you're able to customize this um, using the company settings. So if you're an admin or manager, you can go to settings and then click setup. And what this is, is these are all of the steps that we have provided and you can drag and drop these around, uh, delete them, fit, create, your, you know, add your own steps and really make this your own. So for example, in large organizations, you might have a whole um, category on how you uh, hand over tools and um, set up um, legacy or um, to make sure that you have sustainable, uh, sustainable um, handovers to maybe people who are retiring or um, transitioning out of roles. And you might have a whole number of steps um, or uh, your own tutorials on um, how you do that and implement software. Another item might be security and how often you do that. You can easily upload your own content and then so when at maybe other sites or locations um, across your company or organization are rolling out um, Fat Finger, they're able to leverage these and uh, make sure everyone's following the same path. That said, you can keep it completely stock. You can even reset it to default and follow our recommendations, but it is completely customizable. Good luck on your implementation of Fat Finger, and please let us know if you have any questions, and we're happy to help. Take care.